Welcome to my second episode of Consistency in FL, and we're going to talk about turning. This is probably one of the largest sources of inconsistency an FL robot can have, and probably also equally one of the largest sources of frustration a team can have. We're going to talk about how you can make your turns more consistent. When we're trying to make consistent turns, we want to make it as easy as possible for the robot to make the turn. It's going to be very important that we have a lot of traction on the driving wheels and a lot less traction on the caster wheel. We want to make sure the majority of the weight is on the driving wheels. And it's not possible to have no weight, but we want to minimize the weight we have on the caster wheel. We want to add any attachments mainly on the side of the robot that has the driving wheels, because that's going to first increase the weight over the driving wheels, and this increases the traction the driving wheels have. But also, it's going to effectively reduce the weight that's on the caster wheel. A good way to know if this is done well is if the robot goes forward with attachment and slightly lifts up the side that has the caster wheel, but doesn't fall over, then you've done a good job. Another way to make sure turns are accurate are to make sure that the robot's driving wheels are not too close together. The further the robot driving wheels get apart, the less force they have to apply on the robots to make the robot turn. And that means that the robot can turn more accurately because it's more easily able to turn. However, these should not be too wide because the robot may not be able to fit through some gaps. Finally, your robot should turn generally fairly slowly. It's important that the robot does not try to turn too quickly because there will be a few problems. First, the robot may attempt to spin the wheels too fast, and this would cause them to slip, which would cause your robot to be inconsistent. And when the robot is trying to stop turning, the momentum of the robot turning could force the robot to turn more than it was intending to, also causing your robot to be inconsistent. Another way to make the robot turns more consistent is to use one-wheel turns. Traditionally, to turn the robot, you would have one wheel go forward and one wheel go backwards, and the two of them will make the robot turn in a direction. However, you can also have one wheel not move and the other wheel move forward or backwards, and this is often a more consistent way to turn. Using the gyro sensor is also an option, although I do have somewhat limited experience actually using this. So I do not feel qualified to comment about using the gyro sensor in this video. There are other ways to make the robot more consistent with turning that I haven't covered in this video. However, I feel like these are probably the most important ways to make a robot more consistent with turning. If you have any other ways you like to do for your team, please comment them down below. Also, you can check me out on Fiverr if you want an experienced FLL coach to help your team succeed at the competition. Thank you.